We are extremely proud of our on-campus research program, where students and teachers work side-by-side -side in our state-of-the-art labs, doing high-level research. Our students are involved in biotechnology research, stem cell research, chemical engineering, optics, nanotechnology, and more recently, agri-science and hydroponics in our state-of-the-art environmental science center. Here is a look at our student Indrani Das from our medical academy in the 2017 Science Talent Search sponsored by Regeneron. The Academy for Medical Science Technology in Hackensack, New Jersey, Indrani Das. Led on by cheers from her fellow competitors, Adrani Das was awarded first place for her research on treating brain injuries. I feel blessed to have had family and friends who have brought me to this point, and just to be able to see and experience all the things I have on the way here. It's been the journey of a lifetime. There are many fine high schools here in Bergen County where students can take advanced classes. We want you to choose BCA because of all the amazing opportunities we provide. Josh Meyer of Teaneck is a perfect example of a student who came to BCA for all the right reasons. He spent much of his time working in our labs and did some amazing research. My name is Joshua Meyer. I'm 18 years old and my research shows how we can harness the aging process to treat diseases. Josh has accomplished more in the last four years than many people will in a lifetime. It began his freshman year with an assignment from one of his teachers. One of the wonderful things about working with young people with regard to science is that they aren't programmed. So when they come up with ideas, often they are profound. And they are profound because you talk about thinking outside the box, they don't know there's a box. They not only don't see it, they have no idea that it's there. Josh had an idea. It was outside the box. But he didn't know that. Josh only saw a possibility. He was just 14 years old. At school, Josh was able to work in the lab on his research. His hypothesis about aging in stem cells was correct. When an adult stem cell is created, it loses a third of its mitochondria. That's the part of a cell that converts food to energy and also contains DNA. Losing the DNA weakens the stem cell and causes it to age rapidly. Josh focused on controlling the amount of DNA deletions in the cell and was able to slow or even stop the cells from aging. And with it, he had another idea. If you could stop the aging of stem cells, could you force other types of cells to age, like cancer cells? While some people don't like aging, I started thinking about how we could use it for good reasons. So for instance, cancer is a disease where cells keep growing and growing and growing, but if we could age cancer and stop its growth, then that's a potential treatment. Josh has successfully aged cancer cells in a Petri dish. The next step will be testing his process in animals. His work has won him awards and accolades from around the world. It's hard work with long hours in the lab, not your typical high school experience. I think of myself as a hopeful person. If something goes wrong, I always think there's a way to fix it. Sometimes there's not, and that's where I think that I need to come in and try and change that. I don't want no to be an answer. I don't want that to be an answer to anybody. I don't like the word no. I think we should give a word yes to everyone, and we can do that through medical research.